So now we're gonna, um, I'm gonna show you guys how to tape down the bottom eyelashes. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna, we're gonna use the under eye patches <laughs> um, to hold down her bottom eyelashes, okay? So the, and the easiest way with these is to literally pinch them so you can uh, put them apart. Sometimes people, when they try really hard to do it like this, it takes forever. And like I said, we want to try to save as much time as possible. So pinch it. They won't go bad. Take it out. Okay. Now look up for me. So now our goal is to hold down her bottom eyelashes, right? So as much as we can, I'm going to go around so you guys see. As much as I can, I'm going to pull down with one hand. And I'm going to try to put this on top of all her lashes close for me is that comfortable or is it poking you it's okay mm -hmm. so we always want to ask the client so keep your eyes closed so and then once we're taping we want to ask them to always keep their eyes closed okay because when it's open it's super weird for mm -hmm. them <laughs> it is right mm -hmm. so when it's closed they don't feel it so anytime you they you need them to open just tell them hey open open and then tell them okay close because if they stay open the whole time you're trying to tape both eyes, it's uncomfortable. And especially if you have a light, it's too strong and their eyes are going to get teary. Okay. So again, I'm going to do the same thing on the other eye. So now I'll ask her, please open. I'm going to hold down. I'm going to come right on top. And cover all her eyelashes. Close. Is that bothering you? No. Okay. Open. So now I'm going to check to make sure nothing's really touching her waterline or her eye. Because the gel eye patches are made close for me. The gel eye patches, they're made of gel material. So once it gets wet, it gets puffy and uncomfortable. So we want to make sure it's not going to touch the eye. And it'll get itchy, her eyes will get um, teary. So it's okay to sometimes even put these a little bit lower even. Open for me. So even like that it's okay to sometimes put them like that to avoid them from getting in the eye for every client or model close for me every client or model um it's going to be different because of their eye shape so if you feel like you have to put it that far so it doesn't poke them or it doesn't go in their eye do that and then i'll show you how to do the rest with the tape okay so now after we put them their eye patches i'll show each eye differently I'm going to use my white surgical tape, okay, to uh, tape on top of the under eye patch. All I need is like an inch and a half like that, and I'm going to cut two pieces, and I'm going to make them double layered. I want to align them as nice as possible because the neater we tape, the easier our, our life is going to be when we're applying. If it's not neat, it's going to get in your way. You're going to keep having to readjusting it and all that. Okay. So then now this one, first I'm going to tape down the inner corner. Okay. So we're going to create two X's like this. First, I'm going to create the inner corner and don't worry about the middle. When you focus on the corners, the middle automatically gets taped. So open for me. So now I'm going to focus on the inner corner. You see how this part's kind of a little bit too high. You see from just her laying there, it slides up. So I'm going to go ahead and push it down before I tape it. Okay. So now I'm going to make sure I cover all those eyelashes with the tape. And I'm focusing on that inner corner. Oops. And I'm going to kind of overlap the eye patch so it also the tape also holds down the eye patch so it doesn't move. Close for me. Okay. Then I want to make sure I could see those inner eyelashes. And this part I could tape down just to hold the under eye patch as well. Now I'm going to do the same thing for the outer corner. Again, I'm going to double layer it. Open for me. And I can lift her eyelashes up if I need to, to see all of that. Close? Okay, so that's nice um, and taped for us, okay? Then of course, and I'll do the same thing on the other eye. Once I do the same thing on the other eye, then I'll go in with the clear tape, okay? The clear tape is literally just clear tape. It's easy to rip apart. Again, I'm just going to use like a little um, 
two inches, inch and a half piece. And I'm gonna split this in half. I don't need the whole thing for the clear tape. And I'm gonna create the same X with the clear tape on top. And the reason for the clear tape is because it's a much smoother surface compared to the white tape. It's more linty and your tweezers don't glide on there too much. Or if I get anything stuck on there by accident when I'm practicing, it's harder to remove and the lint comes off with it. But if I have the clear tape on there and I get accidentally glue one lash on there, it comes off easily without hurting them, damaging the eyelashes, okay? So open for me. Again, we're gonna go tape the inner corner. Then we're gonna tape the outer corner. And then see, we can't see any bottom eyelashes. I'm gonna double check, so that's good. Close for me. And then when, she, when her eyes are closed, I'm gonna ask her one last time, is anything poking you, bothering you? No, it's just weird, right? And that's normal. <laughs> but so that's, we wanna touch base with them every 20, 30 minutes to make sure it hasn't moved up, it's not bothering them. Cause last thing we want is the tape to be poking them in the eye while they're laying there for an hour and a half, two hours. Cause then that could really um, kind of create a mini bruise in their eye and it's gonna be red and irritated for a few days, okay? And um, since we're gonna be the best lash tags, <laughs> we wanna make sure we don't do anything like that from the start. Okay? Okay. so that's about that's it that's how you tape with that okay so this is my traditional way of taping this is how i've taught it forever <laughs> but now we also have a microfoam tape it's actually my first time showing this ever so you guys are the first crowd um so we have this microfoam tape and just discovered it i didn't make it i just discovered it 3m still makes it and it's a really cool material that's it's very sticky so um it sticks nice on the skin but when you take it out it comes off gently compared to the other tapes so that's kind of the only negative thing about using that white tape or that clear tape is it could get but get really sticky so if i use it too much on the skin like if i didn't put the under eye patch there it was gonna be hard to remove and it was gonna be tugging so if you're gonna use this tape you don't have to put two layers of the white and the clear you can just use this one alone and again i could use the two little pieces i'm gonna ask her to open for me and i'm gonna create the same x and the under eye patch it doesn't even have to be there i can only use this if i want the under eye patch is nice because it's also hydrating so you can do it as kind of like a nice extra service for them but only this tape would be okay as well and if you look closely um you can see it's it's a little bit yellower background so you can see which you prefer whatever you can see better based on their natural eyelash color